My name is Gretchen Lynch. I'm a Puritan and I'm currently living in Salem, Massachusetts. Not too long ago was the time of the Salem Witch Trials. It is now the year of 1693 and the final trial was just held yesterday. I am here to tell you a little about what is happening in Salem today. When the Salem Witch Trials started to come to an end, many of the people of Salem began to feel that the accusations and trials were getting out of hand and the accusers were lying about who they thought were so-called witches. On October 12, 1692, Governor Fipes issued orders to protect current prisoners from harm and to suspend the arrest of anyone accused of witchcraft unless the arrest was absolutely necessary. The last trial was held in January 1693, and the final count was 19 deaths by hanging and one by crushing rocks. The aftermath of these trials were severe. Many still remain in jail because they couldn't afford to get out. Also, many who were convicted had their land confiscated and therefore, their families were left without money or homes. Houses and fields were left unattended and the planting season had been interrupted by the trials, resulting in crop failures. This left all the Puritans believing that God was punishing us for the hangings of innocent people. After Salem's politics were altered and Paris left the village, Joseph Green replaced Paris as a minister of Salem. He has done much good to the village. No one else has been convicted as a witch ever since. 